Hey guys, how are you today? Hope you're well. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a navigation bar. Um, I've done a tutorial to the tutorial on this before, so I'm assuming prior knowledge. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of show you guys an easy way to create a navigation bar. But we're going to go into it a little bit deeper as well, and we're going to be using fireworks a fireworks template. Um, so the first thing I need to do is press create new fireworks document. As always, I'm just going to do 900 by 900, so I've got a nice wide space going to press OK. Now, to get to the actual fireworks templates, what you need to do is go to the common library. Um, and if you're on the expanded mode, which is right here at the top right, uh, it should be at the bottom, which is common library. And so you've got a basic selection of all different things. Just to show you guys what's in the common library, uh, you've got different things like an animation. Say, for example, I'm just not going to press, I'm not going to actually show you what the animation is. But you get the you guys can actually have a look. You've got a few buttons in there, um, ready made. So, but the thing we're going to be looking at is going to be the menu bar. So, double click in the menu bar, and I'm going to select. There's obviously different ones, uh, just to show you guys. Um, I'm going to delete these two. The one I'm going to actually show you guys is uh, navigation. No, actually, it's not eight. Uh, yep, yeah, it's nine. So, okay, I've opened up nine. At the moment, if I click on preview, it's just that's just a graphic. There's nothing actually happening in there. Uh, so I'm going to go back into the original now. Remember, now one thing I'm going to mention: I've never actually discussed this previously, but what this is 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 a symbol. Yeah. So that remember that as a keyword. This is a symbol of a navigation bar, and it is menu bar or nine. So this is a symbol. This is an instance of. So another keyword. This is a instance of menu bar. Um, don't worry if you don't understand to be honest um, anyway so I'm going to double click and I'm going to go inside and what that's done is it, I've now actually gone inside the symbol so you can see there's page 1 and menu bar 09 so this is gone inside to get back to my workspace I now have to go and press page 1 um, and that takes me back to page 1 so that's where that is so okay so as you can see obviously I can't um, edit it at the moment so I double click go back in now I'm inside menu bar 01, sorry, 09. And now I can actually edit different things. Um, the way Fireworks has actually done this for us is basically um, made this button, the About Us button, as though that would be the rollover and the others as though it's in its normal state. Um, so yeah, if I click on the About Us, and if you look on the Properties panel right here, the only thing that changes is the actual opacity. Um, which is 100% at the moment, but if I press products now, it changes to 80. Yeah, so that is the only thing that changes from the two different bits of text. But before I do that, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually duplicate the states, as you guys know. Um, I've covered this before. So duplicate states. I'm going to duplicate it once. So I've got state one and state two, um, both exactly the same. I'm going to make my state one as though it's in its normal state, and I'm going to change state two as though the mouse actually rolls over so I'm going to change all of these to I'm going to change the about us to 80 and I'm going to delete this arrow right next to it so that's deleted the arrow so that is in its normal state no actually I've done it wrong um, I've actually done that for state 2 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and I'm going to drag it over so that it goes above so state 2 has now become state 1 and that's an important part yeah so okay now state 2 is going to be as though it's um, gone over so I am going to change all the opacity to 100 so now all the buttons look the same also you got to see notice that there's an arrow there so I'm going to press ctrl C and then ctrl V and then with my um, keyboard I'm just going to press right 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 and basically what that's done you'll get to see ctrl V is it's just going to put the arrows next to it um, try and do this as quick as I can or as quick as it allows me to it doesn't need to be perfect at the moment because I'm just showing you guys an, as an example okay so you can see that has started to happen come on right so there you go so state one looks like this state two looks like this yeah now you'll get to see what's gonna happen now I'm gonna go and click on the web slice tool so this is that one here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw these slices and just going to go over each button um, 
there you go and obviously if uh, obviously I'm just doing this as an example but if I had actual links to go to what I do is I click on the web slice tool and I would actually give it a sort of an, an area to go to so you know um, HTML about us dot HTML or whatever 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 um, also another thing I forgot to mention is um, well actually two things if I wanted to hide these slices I can just hide the slices and I can also go in there and just change names if you know we obviously um, have different navigation button names so we would obviously do that and you do that before you duplicate it otherwise you'd have to change it for both states I hope you're following me so far okay so what I need to do now is right click and press add simple rollover behavior I'm going to do that for each and every one add simple rollover behavior add simple rollover behavior now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my main area so I'm going to click on page one and then I'm going to press preview now in the preview box um, you can see this is how it would actually have to appear now to be honest I think it, it that you know for most people would be fine and it is fine to be honest but I want to try something a little bit more creative and do some a bit more with it so I'm going to go back inside double click I'm going to hide my slices at the moment so that's done and dusted what I'm going to do is go into my second state I'm going to add a border um, around each button so what I'm going to do is use my pen tool and on the properties panel I'm going to set the fill to zero and the way I do that is I make it a transparent fill and I'm going to actually give it in outer color which is going to be white just to keep with the theme so I'm going to just draw like a, a sort of a well just follow me and you'll see what I mean um, so that's one two just keeping it randomly doing it making it as jagged as possible making it well, trying to make it funky and then we'll see what happens and just going around each one now what I also need to do is check that my um, so there you go see I've, I've, if I zoom in now you can see that I've got a few things that I need to change um, as you can see that's been cut out and these two are overlapping so I uh, just need to go in there and tweak each each and every one of them and there you go uh, so again hide my slices go into page one into going into the preview now you can see these buttons are changing and, it, and they just stand out that little bit more it just kind of adds to the effect I'm going to zoom out uh, not too much and you know if it, it just makes it a little bit better and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press file and export I'm going to export it I'm not going to give it a name I'm not going to bother giving it a name uh, HTML and images I'm going to just press save and then hopefully it should all appear really I should have dumped that into a folder but yeah if I go and click in there you can see that this is my navigation bar and that's already um, possibly for going into Dreamweaver or whatever but basically you get the idea that's how you create a basic navigation bar using the templates remember um, to get into there and edit your actual template so I'm just going to quickly show you guys just for the sake of it to be honest the tutorial is over but I'm just going to show you another example just going to double click go inside here remember what I need to do is I can go inside the way I go inside is I double click to give, go back out I press page one so I go back inside I can make all the changes I need to. I can actually change the way this looks. I can add additional buttons. So if I wanted to add another button, is edit copy, edit paste, and just put another button in there and, and make your navigation bar unique and the way you want. And you can also um, just show you something really simple. Um, I'm going to highlight everything. I'm going to add a fill. I'm going to press adjust, adjust color and I'm going to press hue saturation. And I'm just going to change the color just for the sake of it. Uh, so you can actually pick different colors and press OK and obviously you'd want to go back in there and change the the uh, you'd want to get rid of the hue saturation from the actual text or actually just put some more text in there and make it white yeah so that's uh, Imran from, this has been Imran from Imstech hope you've enjoyed the tutorial comment rate subscribe uh, let me know if I went too fast let me know if I went too slow let me know if you found it interesting if you found it boring to be honest I'm looking for feedback and on how to actually improve my tutorials I've done a few now I'm, I just need to sort of progress on that uh, so yeah uh, take it easy take care and yeah uh, make sure you subscribe don't forget to subscribe